Go. Hi, how are you doing? This is Trish coming to you live from Maryland. Um, I wanted to share a story with you. Uh, I've already started to share the story with you of uh, my, my best friend and a person who's been in my life's journey since I was about 10 years old. We've been together for about 30 years, and um, our journey has taken us through many paths in life, as everyone has their own paths to follow. But um, our journey started uh, after we had children. We got back together. We were apart for some time. And uh, we got back together after our children were born. And certain things have happened up until now that have really uh, caused us to get into our personal development and uh, learn about ourselves. And from that, we owned the florist together. And uh, for two years, that that was in progress, and we did really well at it. But we realized that that was not where we both wanted to be. And I took a turn and went towards my journey as she went towards hers. She discovered her journey. And from uh, that moment, she went into work for someone else as far as once she did that, then she started her journey in personal development, and I wanted to get started. This is my best friend, uh, Kim. So, Kim, let's start from the floor so that you worked for someone at. Well, actually, I owned it, and then I sold it to her. And then during the course of working there, um, I really had a hard time struggling with going from owner to employee, and so did the lady that I sold it to. So we parted ways. And it wasn't a good part, but we parted ways. And I was unemployed for two days. And then my um, inspiration um, started. Okay. Well, before that, um, we were at a, uh, my swimming pool every day in the summertime. And I introduced him to some of my self-development stuff. And uh, we floated around the pool and we listened to the CDs that I had and different things. And I introduced her to the Holocene program, which was with Bill Harris. And the CDs that Bill Harris had sent me, I introduced them to her. Tell me how Bill Harris and meditation changed the thought. Well, first of all, I thought it was hokey pokey, and I thought you were cracking up, but you insisted that I listen. So we spent many days at the pool in between my morning shift and my afternoon shift listening to Bill Harris um, and learning how to think and learning how to meditate, and it was an eye-opener. Before that, I, know I just didn't believe in any of this stuff, and then after I started listening and paying attention, it all was perfectly crystal clear to me that this was a great path that you were on, and meditation has been around forever since the beginning of the time, and it's a wonderful thing to do. You should do it every day, and because of it, that's what I've been doing because of you. That's awesome, Kim. What happened um, to your mind, though? Tell me, I know that you've um, said a couple stories to me about um, things that happened in your life and how you are, are relating them to uh, the self-development category. And when I answer, sometimes I answer you, and, and you don't get it right then, but you know, you mix, it, later. mix it and match it in your life. Tell me a story of something that's happened right after that. Um, that led you to where you are now. Okay, well, like like you said, I was working in a forest, your forest. <clears throat> I've owned several forests. Um, I was happy and content doing that until this one day it all came to a bitter end. And because of the self-development and the self-help and the meditation, um, I just let that whole process go. I wound up meeting a family who needed help. I wound up taking that job. It was nothing like I ever thought I would ever do in my life. Well, right before that, you had said no a couple times to this job. Yes, I did, because it was quite different from owning a florist. It was taking care of someone. It was lifting and taking care of a, 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 a challenged person who has cerebral palsy, and um, I knew nothing about it. I'm not qualified. I was not qualified. I was resisting it. No, no, no. I can't do it. But it came a point where I went to bed one night after meditating, and um, it was an eye-opener. 